What's up everyone, Sean Astrom here. In today's little off the cuff tutorial, I wanted to show you guys a little trick I've created and or set up over the years. Uh, a way to set up a Philotaxis pattern right within Cinema 4D only using cloners and effectors. Um, so yeah, let's dive in and check it out. So I'm sure uh, you've all seen this pattern before in this nice uh, Philotaxis uh, shape that we can create in 3D softwares. Um, but I've seen some videos recently that show how to do this with you know a bunch of nodes and, and some fancy math stuff and I just thought I would share a, a really cool method of creating this uh, only using a cloner and a few effectors um, so if if you want to know uh, some some a little more detail about what we're going to create here it's just it's just the golden angle here and and really all you need to know is this this one angle here, 137.508 degrees. And this illustration perfectly represents what we're trying to create in 3D here. So if you look at how these petals are offset, um, each one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, you can see that all it is is it's one petal being rotated 137.508 degrees. And so we're gonna do that with a cloner and a few effectors. And I'm going to show you here right now. So if I just dive into a new scene here, um, I'm going to bring in a circle. And let's just use this sort of as a placeholder so that we can set this up. And I'm going to go to the basic tab here and just uh, colorize this real quick so it's nice and bright. So all we need to do is bring in a cloner, make this a child of the cloner. And then under the object tab here, we're going to go to radial and you can see here we have the count and the end angle and thinking of that angle all we need to do is put in 137.508 degrees and then we have the count now for every one clone we want to rotate this amount so we can simply just pick a number here let's say 400 and then if we hop into here we can just multiply this by hitting a times 400 right within the input field here and we get this here now this is just a bunch of these circles just rotated around um, so the the missing element that we need now is a step effector so let's just bring that in here and if I set the cloner to have a radius of zero and then the step effector is just going to step these out. Um, so we're going to enable position and disable scale for right now. And you can see that if I start to increase this value, with, that we magically start to get this phylotaxis pattern. And um, yeah, uh, it's pretty amazing that you can use Cinema's built-in tools to just set this up so quickly. Um, but we can uh, further enhance this by adding another effector, which is really great and newer. Um, I think this was added maybe around like R16, R17, um, not too sure, but it's super powerful, this push apart effector. So if we throw this into the list, while we had the collectors or the cloner selected there, it just you know automatically is added to the to the effectors list here, which is what we want. Um, and then under radius, I want this to match my circle size, which was 10 centimeters. And then if we just crank up the iterations, you can see that we get uh, these objects here to not overlap so much. And I think this is actually a really good representation of what happens in nature. These things kind of get packed together um, at the center of a flower, for example. Um, but if I go back to my step effector, we may also want to add in some scale so that we're getting these guys to be a little larger on the outside and smaller on the inside. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much the setup. It, it is literally that easy. Uh, now we can further enhance this by adding in yet another effector. This time, let's do a shader effector. And again, it was automatically added because we had the cloner selected. 
And if I just hop into here under the shading tab and we add in a gradient, um, and we go back to the parameter and disable scale and enable position, um, we can kind of get that proper shape. Like let's say we were trying to do the center of a flower, like we could very easily get some nice control over it this way. I could enable rotation here and we could get these to kind of rotate outward. Um, yeah, so pretty amazing that this can all be built right within Cinema and using the MoGraph tools. Um, and then to better kind of illustrate this, I'm just going to bring in a cone. Let's put the rotation segments to like four and then zero this out, four, pop that in here, take out the circle. And yeah, you can see what we get here. So pretty darn cool. Um, and this can also be used for flower petals, leaves, any sort of plant growth, um, all kind of represents this um, function, um, this golden angle. So the other nifty thing we could do if we want to make this a little more fancy is um, we could just set up some quick espresso just to connect these two uh, components here, the count and the end angle. So a quick way to do that would be to just select the cloner under count here. If we right click and go expressions set driver and then under end angle we want to go expressions set driven. Absolute is fine. Now that's going to immediately link these up but there's still a few more nodes we need to add to get this to work correctly because it's actually not quite correct. It's it looks like it's working right, but it's it's not quite correct. So if we just hop into the Espresso by double clicking this tag here, um, you can see that we've got sort of an automatic connection here, but we need to add a few um, nodes to get this to uh, do the correct multiplication here. So uh, if we see here, we just need to bring in a math node. So if I just type in math here, we'll get a math node right here. And for this, we want to do a multiplication. So let's go to function, multiply. And then under the count, we'll plug it into the first input here. Now the second input, we don't actually need anything. We can just put our, our degrees here, that magical angle, 137.508 degrees. And then with this guy, we just need to plug this into here. Now, um, let's see here. Okay, so if I go back to my cloner here, now you can see that something is still not right here. Um, and the reason for that is we need to convert this output um, from a degree to a radian because the cloner is expecting a radian here. Um, so if I just type in degree here, so bring up this nice degree conversion node. So I'm going to take this output here and bring it into the input here. And if we just check this, this is radians to degree. And I should think we want to swap this to degree to radians. So now if I go back down here to, uh, let's say one, we should have that number. So 137.508. And now we just can control this slider and everything should work accordingly. Let's take a look here. And we can see here that we are getting that nice, perfect phyllotaxis pattern all within here. And yeah. Oh man, my navigation messed up the number here, but that's okay. I'll go to 500 here. And yeah, so that's looking great. The cone's a little tall, um, but yeah. Yeah, you can see that this is a super cool setup and to be able to have it all built out with the MoGraph tools this easily is is super powerful. And then, you know, we could get in here and, you know, add in another random effector or another effector rather and, you know, start adding in a little bit of variation here. Um, you know, let's just say position, scale, uh, uniform scale, sure, why not? You know, and, and, and all, all of a sudden we have something that looks very organic and, yeah, super cool. Uh, Fun little setup for this. And yeah, guys, um, hope you enjoyed this 
quick little video to show how you can set this up using Cinema's built-in tools. No nodes, no fancy math. And yeah, excited to see what people might do with this. And I think the next video will probably show how we can build out some flower petals. Thanks for checking us out. Talk to you all later.